Now, enough about coffee consumption in the morning. What we really want to know is can you go out to Starbucks and enjoy a nice coffee in the evening? Well, there are two kinds of studies that have been conducted to assess the effect of caffeine on sleep quality. The first kind of study involves taking people who are non-consumers of caffeine, in other words, people who don't drink coffee, giving them caffeine, and then assessing if there's any deterioration in their sleep quality. Within this methodology, there are some studies that do show that there is a negative effect of caffeine on sleep quality, but these studies haven't got important limitations. For example, one study was conducted by giving each of the participants 600 milligrams of caffeine. Now, for those of you who don't know, one cup of brewed coffee is equivalent to 100 milligrams of caffeine. So these studies essentially involve giving each of the participants six fully brewed cups of coffee just before going to bed. I don't know about you, but if I drank six brewed cups of coffee just before going to bed, I'm not going to go to sleep anytime soon. Studies that try to measure the effect of using different dosages of caffeine only found significant effects for dosages of 300 milligrams or more. So that means that if you stick to a maximum of two cups of coffee a night, you'll probably be okay. In addition, even though some studies did find a deterioration in sleep quality on the first night, those studies that measure the effects on subsequent nights noted less of an effect. This is evidence of tolerance, which means that your body acclimatizes to the caffeine and therefore it has less of an effect over time. Which means that habitual drinkers of coffee might not be negatively affected by caffeine, only occasional drinkers. That was the first type of study. The second type of study is where researchers took people who were already drinking coffee on a regular basis, made them stop, and then analyzed the effect on their sleep quality. It seems like this type of study would be more useful for people with insomnia, because many people, if not most people, do already drink coffee and tea on a regular basis. For some reason, this has not been the focal point of sleep research when looking at the effects of caffeine. Of the few studies conducted, the effects of reducing or eliminating caffeine consumption are either null or insignificant. What this indicates is that the participants of these studies had already developed tolerance to caffeine, and therefore the effect of reducing or eliminating the caffeine consumption was just not there. Unfortunately, many of these studies suffer from fundamental flaws. Many of them use very small samples of participants and the use of self-reported data. So in conclusion, the initial question we had was, does moderate consumption of caffeine have a negative effect on sleep quality? And the answer is, we don't know. It could be that as long as you don't have three or more cups of coffee in the evening, you'll be just fine. We just don't have any research that gives us conclusive answers yet. So don't feel bad if you're enjoying the coffee in the evening like I do. There doesn't seem to be anybody out there with conclusive evidence that you're doing something wrong. If I discover anything that changes this, you'll be the first to know. Bye for now.